hello there so what we basically want to do is to go through the process of creating an app which is also it's a task on ionic um we've created a wireframing application here uh, for example this has three pages and it is designed like this yeah. this is basically based on the example that we got from the documentation for example, if we go to the Ionic Framework documentation and go to Ionic tabs, you can see here that there is a representation of an app with about four pages. You know, uh, we've selected JavaScript so that we see the code that is using JavaScript, and then uh, below here is the code in relation to how it works. Uh, how you create it, you create an iron tab, then an iron tab, and then all sorts of other things that are here. And then this is linking the various uh, HTML components. Now what we're going to do is to open the example on StackBlitz, you know, so that we see how that looks like. So we wait for stack blitz to show. Uh, we're going to ignore this particular section here. Uh, we're going to go to the index.html file that details how the application has been developed with uh, JavaScript. Now what we see here is you go to the body of the application and then see how they have created it here. Yeah. So um, let's be up start with the wireframing application so that we can see how we can do this there. So we go to the wireframing applications. I'm going to delete everything that is here so that we start from scratch. So I'm going to delete everything so that we start from scratch. So we have a blank working space now. Now, what we need to do when you're developing an application here is we need a, a space where we are going to host our pages. Yeah. Like for example, yeah, the iron app is there, and then we need an iron content. So in the wireframe, I'm going to go to pages and add a content. Yeah. Now we're going to call this main main content. Yeah. And as we see here, it's saying padding. Yeah. In padding, it is here. Yeah. So we're going to deactivate this one iron page because this is not an iron page. It's an, we want to have that class of iron padding, and then we add it. Let's just set this to be in the parent device because we want it to show here. So we save this one here, and then if we refresh and go here, we have this main content here. We won't see it here currently. But we have this main content here. Yeah. For example, if you want to see your uh, uh, browser HTML, you can just go to View Inspect, and then uh, it's going to open. You see, so inside the device, there is the main content that we've just created. It has the iron pairing class. Yeah. It is the main iron pairing class, and it is what we created here. So let me close this for now. Now the next thing that we need to do, okay, let's just ignore this styling. What we need to do is to add iron tabs here and all and then the tab bars that are here. On my side to do this because it's actually very easy with the wireframing application. We're going to add a, a hosting, um, a tabs hosting inside the main content. What we do that we do the by adding the main the page. So I'm going to call it main page. Yeah. and it is inside the main content uh, it's going to be a div you know uh, let's just leave it's going to be a page 
because we're just creating a hosting page so it's going to be a page the mode is iOS you can also do this in in uh, material design uh, this doesn't have a header so if it doesn't have a header this will be ignored uh, it doesn't have a menu auto hide we're going to create a menu also uh, perhaps let's leave that let's not create a menu this has a content yeah, inside it uh, I think for now we're set let's save this so that we have the main content inside uh, the main page inside our main content so the component name here is main page it's inside the main content it's a div yeah. it's a page it means that it's going to add the iron page class and then we don't want it to have any heading or anything of that sort so it's going to show like this uh, there's nothing at the moment because we've not added anything but let's assume that we wanted to have a header let's call this main page yeah? and then let's say let's remove the router because i don't want routing on this particular page let's say that it's going to have a header and the toolbar is going to be danger it's going to be having a header and the toolbar has left buttons has right buttons uh, has a menu button uh, menu there's no back button or anything like that so let's just indicate that the page now will have a header a toolbar and a title and then a menu button so with these settings that we have set here we have ensured that the page itself that is the hosting page it has various components you know? it has a header it has a menu it has a title but we can always disable these things by just going through to the header uh, because the left buttons the left buttons uh, uh, where this main menu uh, is sitting so if we disable the header the left buttons will not be added you know? so uh, and also the menu button will not be added because we're saying that this must not have a header so let's leave the content intact because we need that content to place the tabs so if we save this we're back to our original scope where for example we're having the main page and then with the main page content this is created automatically because we selected that the page should have content we want to uh, host our iron tabs inside that particular content it's easy if we do it like that now the next thing that we want to do is to have our tabs within this particular page and as you have seen in this example this page has navigation you know so we're going to make some changes again to our main page our main page where we're going to host everything we want it to have tabs so it doesn't have the header we want it to mean to have tabs so we go to here and see it has tabs and inside the tabs we have a tab bar and it's at the bottom because you can also put it on top so uh, saving this is going to create our page with a tab bar so if we go to our inspect we will see that now our page this is the main content 
and then inside the main content we have tabs and inside the tabs we have a tab bar where we're going to add our navigation so basically what we have done now from clicking from setting up the main page we have designed our outline of our application we have designed we have added the content the first content and then we have added, added a div so that it hosts the tabs and the and the tab bar yeah so for now we are sorted in relation to having our main page functionality the page that has tab bars and tab for the main navigation now the next thing that we need to do then is to create the various pages that we have so for example here now the instructions to create this are very simple to save the instructions let's just click here so that we can see how we can do this easily um, okay um, we've added an iron page okay i think i'm just ahead of myself let's go back to this one the main content and then we generate documentation from there This is the custom view guide that will basically indicate in terms of how do we do this if we're using the abstract designer. Now, the first step ne, is to say we add an iron content and then we change the name of the kind content to be main content and then the iron page is false. So if you look here, the main content, the iron padding is there the iron page is also is taking the properties that were changed and then indicates in terms of what is it that you need to do so you change the name to the main content which is basically that component name the main content and then we said iron page is false which we basically did here and then we saved this um, and then the second stage is to add an iron page inside the main page. So you draw and draft nearly main content, uh, and then you call it main page. Now for the main page, which is inside the main content, this one here, this is indicating what we have changed on the property back. So we said name main page and you can see here that the name is main page and then what we did was to change the header to be main page the header that was changed is this one yeah. as much as we're not seeing any headers here we, of course we've disabled the has header that's why it is not showing and then the router name because we don't want routing for this page is blank and the url path is blank so the url path and the router name these are blank because we don't want routing and then the next thing is we said toolbar color danger toolbar color is danger this will only work if the has header is true if for example we say has header is true and then we save this then you will see the header here but we do not want that header so what we're going to do is to disable that and so that it doesn't show now uh, has right buttons for us this is applicable to the has header it also has left buttons has left buttons you know these ones here yeah. has left buttons as right buttons has right buttons is equals to false um, the right buttons are these buttons that are usually placed here where you saw the menu and then 
menu auto hide in small devices the menu will be auto hiding then the menu id main menu main menu there is the name that we changed and then has tabs through and has a tab bar through has tabs through has tab bar through so this custom view documentation it helps you in relation to knowing which properties were changed in the property pack to make our wireframe look the way that it is looking now at least this helps in terms of guiding you in terms of how to create the applications as much as this one here is applicable to the abstract designer the settings that are here also you can do on the wireframe to see that it is working um, the other thing now is the main page content that is created here because we indicated when we're creating our main page that we will want the content to be created what it does is to create an iron content uh, component which for example if we inspect our code in the browser now we can see that um, there is the iron content it's called the main page content it's added inside the main page you know and this is where our tabs are placed and this is where our tab bar is placed and because the name of our page is a main page everything that is created here will start with main page main page tab bar main page tabs main page content main page so this is the root page of our application the root page of our application is important because it is where our router will sit that will send uh, that will enable us to navigate throughout the applications so basically what we have done here now is to create the hosting uh, page for our various pages that we will create in the applications itself you know so that is basically what we have uh, done so far now what we need to do is to add the various pages that we need to add we in our example here we have a couple of pages one two three four pages and these are tabs there's a home tab there's a radio then there's a library and then the search you know so what we need to do is to have these various tabs we're not going to be creating all of these components here because the wireframe system has been automated such that when you create a tab you can indicate that it needs to have a header and a title and content just like this example here so we need to place our tabs uh, we can place our tabs inside um, uh, the main page tabs what i'm going to do i'm going to just delete this and just recreate it again uh, actually uh, let me just clone it i'm going to clone it uh, okay maybe let me not clone it let me just delete it I'm just going to delete it so that we're just left with the main content and then what I'm going to do is just recreate it so that the wireframe app creates everything automatically for us I said we're going to have a page and then we're going to call it main page yeah. this is inside the main content it's a div I uh, we're not going to use that the app router should be blank the other parts should be blank this is a page it does not have a header uh, then these are ignored and then uh, we're going to call the main the menu id main menu will create the menu later and then uh, it has content and then it has tabs and it has a tab bar the tab bar is at the bottom yeah. the selected tab let's call it home uh, and then we save this so 
what this is going to do is to create everything that we need. So the main page, it has main page content, it has tabs, and then inside the tabs, it has this here. Now, this is the structure that we need to do. Now, let's add a page for our application because this page here is the hosting page for all other pages. That's why it does not have a root in the URL path. But now what we're going to do is to use tabs as pages. So we go to tab because there's already tabs and the tab bar here. Tabs is used for, can also be used for routing. So we need to add a tab here. A tab, we're going to call this home. And this is going to be inside the main page tabs. Okay. Because here in our example, we have tabs and then we have tab. And then this is the one that we're creating, creating home. The title of it is listen now. You know, so what we're going to do is going to say this, okay, is a tab. There it is. And then the title of this. Now I'm having this problem of this to tick. Okay, home. The title of this is going to be listen now. Now the icon of this in relation to listen now. If we go down to the tabs, the icon is play cycle. We're going to use the same icon here. Yeah. And then this is a, a, sub, a, a, a page inside the hosting page, so it will have a, a root. So home is usually the starting point, so we don't change that. Otherwise, we we'll just say home, but let's just leave it as that. It's a page, and then the tab, because it's the company name, so it's going to be home to here, because that's what we want to give it like here yeah. because this component name here it's linked to the id of the component so the tab here assigns the tab to this so the next thing that we want to do we want this to have a header because in our example here this tab it has a header and the header is listen now and that's where we type our pet listen now. So what we need to say now is say that this tab has a header and then uh, there are no right buttons. There's a left button here. Mm -hmm. uh, because usually what we need to do for the, that one is to say that we can have a back button and a menu button so for this particular example because this is the home page we just want to show the menu button so this has a header has left buttons and the left buttons will have a menu button so that when we click the when we show the home page it shows the menu button you know the menu is the main menu we'll create this menu at a later stage so there's no back button on this particular page and it has content okay so that we can place something inside the page so let's just say this is the home page so that we see and uh, let's add some padding on the content and then there's no list in this page there's no footer but we want this to be shown on the drawer list i'll explain this later uh, main menu list no. uh, we want this to be shown on the tab bar on the tab bar that we created this is main page tab bar 
Zmieni page tab bar. So let's edit. So what we're saying now is we have a page in our you see now this is added to the main page tab bar. We don't want this to be there. We want it to be added to the main page tabs. So this is home. This should be added to the main page tabs so that we sort out our navigation. Let's save this. Now this makes sense. Yeah. Now what we've done is to create um, a page called home. We said that the home page must have a header, a toolbar, left buttons, and the menu button. That is what is a, a header, a toolbar, the title, this is this one, and then the menu button, which is that one, you know, and then the home content, the home content, which must have text. This is the home page. So we have created multiple components at once. By just setting up some settings on the home page to indicate that this is what we need this is what we need this is what we need so we have also indicated on the home page that this should be shown on the tab bar and the tab bar that should be shown is the main page tab bar you will recall that the main page bar is actually this here that is sitting inside the main page uh, inside the content of that so we've created the home page with that icon and uh, it shows on the top bar so that when we navigate to it uh, we can go through to it okay now on the apps itself when you navigate it won't work because it's internal to this one but now if you go and click on home you know and then you follow the custom view guide help it's going to tell you exactly what is it that we have done and what is it that you need to do you know so here you need to find an iron tab and place it inside the main page tabs which is basically uh, what is reflected what is reflected on the tree view here if you look in the tree view here the home is inside you see close main tabs the first thing that you see there is home and then this is what is inside home so the guide is indicating that we have main page tabs we take that and tab and put it inside there how we did that in the in the wireframing we went to pages and then we clicked on tab and then we give it a name of home which is what basically we have done here we said the name is home and then the second thing that we did was to say the title is listen now and then we change the title to be listen now which is what basically you see here listen now and then the next thing that we did was to change the icon to replace cycle now in our example the play icon is showing in the tab bar so the tab for home is here and then on the tab bar for home it is play cycle so that's what we decided to do and then we change the tab to be home in relation to our um, content here change the tab to be home and then what we do we said this thing has a header because we want the header to be generated and then we said it has that it doesn't have right buttons yeah doesn't have right buttons no right buttons but it does have left buttons then there's a, has a menu button because we want the menu button to show as a menu button 
the menu button is this button here you know so when you say it has a header it will create this header and then create the title and then create the menu button that we see there you know and then the next thing that we said is the menu button should not auto hide now on small devices the menu button will auto hide if for example if it's true here the menu button will not show you see because uh, it's a small device so we go back we say do not auto hide the menu button yeah. then we see it there and then we allocate a menu id of main menu menu here because we want to show the menu at some stage but we'll create that at a later stage and then we have content padding Mm -hmm. Content padding is uh, this year because it has padding before you know uh, the content on the particular page, which is this year. So if we say content padding is blank. Mm -hmm. So it will have to get that fixed, but because this is not applicable because the the settings are basically here. These other ones are just created for the structure so that we understand what the structure is. Uh, but if we wanted to change the padding, we just go here and say there's a, okay. Let's say just we want to send at the head the, the content and say that uh, there's no padding. And save it so now there's no padding it's at the top there and it's centered but let's go back and say uh, this is not centered let's save it see there's no padding here now so let's uh, let's pad it So that it shows properly then it's padded here then the next thing that we said was um, we change the content this is a home page this is the home page uh, this is the home page content text you can change it to be anything that you want and then show on the drawer list to say that it's true say show on the drawer list main menu list and then this has not been created yet and then main page tab bar show on the tab bar you know so if for example we say we don't want to be shown on the drawer we don't want this to be shown on the tab bar we just disable those and then what happens is that we don't see this on the tab bar anymore so that's how we have created the first home page now let's just set it back we want this to be shown on the drawer we want this to be shown on the tab bar yeah. so let's just save our save our page so this is done now let's create the second page the second page is uh, the radio page you know radio content radio and all sorts of things now what we're going to do is to clone this page home we just clone it because the functionality is almost the same clone it and then we call it radio and then okay this thing gets stuck at times um home clone I don't know what's going on now <laughs> uh, okay 
cloning doesn't want to work for now let me just probably say back check it later let's just go to create a tab and then we're going to call it radio and then it's inside main page tabs the title is radio as the documentation that is here no? radio content and then what is the icon the icon is radio okay radio we're going to change the path to be radio because we wanted to go to that particular page the home page didn't have a specified path and then i will call this radio this also has a header doesn't have the right buttons this does not have a menu button but we want it to show the back button so we call the main menu but we want it to show the back button and when we click on the back we want it to go through to the home page and the back button text should be back so this is content it's uh, padded so the content should be radio content you know and then uh, this should not be page okay and then we also wanted to show oh, on the drawer list and show on the table so the drawer list is main menu list and main page tab bar so let's say this now we have created a second page radio and listen now you know uh, actually the icon is wrong the icon here is wrong the icon is supposed to be radio there you go okay let's refresh there's the radio the icon here is radio the icon here is radio so what going well in terms of creating what you see here listen now radio and then in our example here listen now and then our radio example here you know so what we need to do next is to create the other page we also said that this page should have a um okay let me do this let me make this component inactive so that what we see we see the radio page you see now the page that we created is a radio because now this is the only page inside the page tab that is active so it's going to show it so we've created a radio page it has a back button it's showing on the tab bar just like we have specified here you know so if we do our notes radio the documentation the documentation is going to tell us exactly that uh, we have an iron tab we gave it a name of radio the title radio we change the icon to be radio we change the path to be radio so that it goes with that and change the tab it has a header no right buttons the main menu id is that one it has a back button it has content and content has table inside the content we show all your content when did show it on the shower and we want to show it on the tab bar ne? and all that so basically what we've created with those instructions just on the tab is these instructions here which have actually have created all this structure for us it has created a tab a header yeah, radio header and then inside that radio header it has created a toolbar radio toolbar then it has created red buttons and inside the left buttons it has created a back button yeah. there is the back button there is the text of the back button and then it has created a title inside the toolbar 
a title inside the toolbar. The title is this radio, and then it has created a content you know, tag, and the content tag is radio content. So what you basically see on this particular page is the structure from here up until there of what we have created. So we're going to make this page. Uh, Okay, let me just do this. Let me show you how the archiving thing works. We've selected the page home. We archive it. We selected the page radio. We archive it because we don't want our working space to be clogged, clogged up here. So this is the archive here, the home page and the radio page. You won't see them here because they've been archived. It just helps in terms of when you're creating a lot of pages, then they're not uh, all over the place for you. So our next step is to create the um, the other library and search. Following the same processes, we'll be able to do that. You know, so I'm going to remove this from the archive and put it back. You know, uh, so that uh, archive radio. You know, uh, then I'm going to make this active. So that we have our so uh, I'll leave it up to you to reproduce the other two things when we're playing with the wireframe and see how you can do the rest of the things by just following the instructions provided here on the downloads and all that so that is how you begin all the applications because this is a page an app that has multiple pages you need to have uh, the main content, then the main page, the main page where it will have tabs and then the tab bar for you to put everything in because as you can see here, our main page is having tabs, it having a tab bar and it has pages inside of them. But what we can do, we can just move this tab to root and then move the other one, radio. move to root uh, the movement to root is just this clustering so that as much as we have that uh, the the home page uh, it knows that the parent id is main page tabs yeah? it will go to that one and also the radio it knows that the parent id is main page tabs as you can see here the main page page content is main content so it moves it to the to the but just not to confuse issues, you know. So we can discuss our application like that, so that we don't have a lot of other things. So uh, moving to root is is useful for the tabs because tabs are basically pages within the tab hosting uh, uh, page, you know. So the main page is a ion tab, ion page, yeah. The main page is an ion page. However, the pages inside it are ion tabs. So remember that yeah, that you create a content, ion content, then you create an ion page, then inside the ion page you add ion tabs. So that's how you're going to do it for all the applications: the main content, the page, the main page, and then the tabs. For all the applications that we're going to create with uh, multiple pages all right thank you